food that we eat get digested and nutrients are absorbed and taken to the cells by our blood. At cell, these nutrients are used for body growth and energy generation. Let's learn about processes which are responsible for growth and energy generation. Catabolism is the process by which components obtained from food are broken down into smaller components. During this process energy is released and this energy is used for different physiological activities such as breathing, moving, working, new cell generation etc. For example, carbohydrates which are absorbed in the form of glucose get converted to carbon dioxide and water. This process releases energy. Proteins get converted to amino acid. Fats are also converted to smaller components such as fatty acid, glycerol etc. Energy releases during catabolism is also used in anabolism. Let's learn about anabolism now. Anabolism is the process by which components of food are combined to form new cell material. Our muscles grow because of anabolism. Anabolism requires energy which is supplied by catabolism. For example, glucose converts to glycogen and sugars which get stored in cells. This can be used for energy in future. Amino acids which were obtained from food and catabolism gets converts to enzymes, hormones, proteins. This leads to growth of our body. Fatty acids combines together to form cholesterol and other steroids. Both cholesterol and steroid are important constituent of cell membrane.